Hey Race Monitor fans, welcome back to our video tutorial series. Today we're going to be looking at Race Monitor Plus, which is the in-app upgrade that allows you to get uh, quite a bit more information on uh, each individual driver. So uh, we're going to start off here by uh, opening up Race Monitor. So now that we have Race Monitor opened up, there's a couple of different ways that you can go about upgrading to Plus if you haven't already. So the first one that we're going to take a look at is uh, you can actually go into a selected race. Uh, for instance, let's say you want to take a look at this race right here. Um, and you tap on any one of the competitors. Let's say you want to get more information on this individual right here. Um, it's going to pull up a upgrade available screen where you can then cancel or, or go into to details. So if we select details, it's going to bring a popover screen, uh, which gives you kind of a couple of screenshots and a little bit of information on some of the things you can see. Um, gives you the pricing on it. So Race Monitor Plus is only $399. Uh, now that is for, uh, for that device for as long as you have it. Uh, unlike the subscriptions that are either uh, monthly or annual, um, it's not $399 annual on this. It's a one-time purchase. Uh, so from this screen, you can go ahead and upgrade to Plus, log into your account, and, and get the upgrade there. Um, or if you've already purchased it in the past, and let's say you're restoring a device or uh, setting this all up on a new device and you've already purchased it, um, then you can select uh, Restore on there and that will uh, take you through the process to, to get it back up and running. Now the second way that you can upgrade to Plus is on the main screen when you uh, open it up in the directories on the left hand side you'll see this banner down on the lower right hand corner uh, and if we tap on that that'll pull over the same popover that allows you to uh, either purchase or restore your race monitor plus subscription now if you've already have race monitor plus uh, upgraded and installed then that banner will will go away uh, and that the behavior will be a little bit different. So basically, if you do not have Race Monitor Plus, then when you try to access those features or, or tap on that banner, it will take you into the uh, section where you can actually upgrade. Once you've upgraded, all of that goes away and you just have all the functionality. So now that we have Race Monitor Plus installed, let's go ahead and take a look at the features of it. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go into this race here. Now before we installed Race Monitor Plus, if you tapped on a competitor, it brought up the screen to uh, actually upgrade to Plus. So now that we've already done that, uh, that popover is going to go away. And what you get is what we call the heads up display. And that brings up additional information about each driver. So you can select any driver in the field and it's going to pull up additional information for that driver. So in the heads up display here we actually have a total of three screens. So we're going to start with the center screen here. At the very top you've got uh, the competitor that you're viewing, uh, what position they're in is on the far left and then their uh, vehicle number and their name. Uh, and then below that you've got all the standard information that's uh, within the regular timing. So you've got the last lap they completed, what their time was, uh, what their best lap number was, and then that time, and then of course the diff and the gap. So all of that is the, the same as on the regular uh, live timing, just displayed a little bit different so you can see uh, a little bit easier uh, the information that you want to see for that particular driver. So now below that is where things start to get a little bit different with the uh, heads up display within Race Monitor Plus. Uh, so immediately below that you'll see a colored line. Um, it'll either be uh, green, yellow, or red, and it is progressive. So uh, as they start across the start-finish line, that line will start over on the left and start progressing uh, based on their previous times. And it's uh, essentially predicting when they should be crossing the start-finish line. Um, so starts out as green. As they get closer to the little start finish line indicator on there, it will turn to yellow. Um, and then once they, again, once they cross the start finish line, it resets to the beginning. Now, if they run 
longer if it's been too much time before they've crossed the start finish line that will actually change to red. Uh, so you'll see this at the very end of the race or um, if they've uh, had an accident or spun out or uh, something's happened that has caused them to, to slow down to where they run a long lap. So you can actually go in and see that, okay, something happened here. Um, they haven't come back around. What's going on? You can kind of get an idea of, of uh, what's happening there on track. Okay, so below the long lap indicator, uh, you'll see uh, the rest of the information. Uh, so basically, this is all of the same information that you see uh, on the, the live timing, but it actually has the, the lap by lap history on it. So you can see on the left hand side has what lap it was. Uh, next to that, you see what position that driver was in. Uh, you'll also see that if they change position, uh, what you know from the start finish line to start finish line uh, if they moved up a position it's a up green arrow if they moved down a position it's a down red arrow uh, you'll also see that their fastest lap is highlighted in green and then below each lap time you will see a uh, small uh, colored line uh, those will uh, typically all be green hopefully if your competitor is doing well but those are those same long lap indicators so you can very quickly glance over and see that on uh, for instance lap seven um, it'll be red underneath and that shows that they had a long lap and obviously something happened on that uh, that lap for that particular driver now within the heads up display if we swipe to the left screen you'll see that uh, we still have all the primary top information from the long lap indicator and above, uh, but it's actually now displaying uh, the information for the driver ahead and the information for the driver behind. So you can see at a quick glance uh, where they're at, okay, or is my driver running faster or slower than the car ahead and behind, um, and, and see the uh, gap and diff and best time and all that stuff for those competitors that are directly ahead and directly behind the driver you're viewing. Now if we swipe all the way to the right screen in the heads up display, again you'll see at the very top is all of the uh, standard information um, from the long lap indicator line and above. But now below that we can see the unofficial results uh, from this event. Uh, so if they're have already been previous sessions, say qualifying, um, heat races, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, you'll be able to actually see where that particular driver was in each of those uh, results. So, for instance, it would say, you know, qualifying uh, P2 um, and, and show you the information based on, on that. So then the final thing on Race Monitor Plus is actually exiting it. So when you're done viewing the heads up display for Race Monitor Plus, uh, simply tap on the uh, name bar where the uh, position, car number, and uh, competitor's name is, and that will close it out and bring you back to just the uh, full screen regular timing. So that's it for Race Monitor Plus. Please stay tuned for future videos as we'll be going into more detail on some of the other more unique features uh, within Race Monitor and uh, some of the cool little things that you can do within the app.